you guys, it's Toffee Cat, and, um, just a little vlog for you guys because, um, I thought this was an important topic to address. Um, so, um, today in PE, um, in, like, two weeks ago, uh, we were playing volleyball, and, um, so, it, ugh, I just, I can't even, ugh, ha. volleyball is terrible, it's, it's awful, I hate it so much, because I'm usually, like, I'm usually, like, the first and only person to ever get hit, and I always get hit in the face, or in the head, and it's awful, and I hate it so much, I'm usually the only one, like, everybody else, it's just like, no, just like, psh, just near misses, you know what I mean, but it's just like, it was like that far away from my face one time, but today, um, this kid, I'm not going to give out his name because he knows me, and I don't know if you know they have a YouTube channel, but I don't know, but, so this kid behind me, um, I was standing like right in the middle of the court, so I was here, and then this other person's here, and then there's like other person, so I was like right in the middle, and, um, Oh my god, it was awful. And this kid, he, the volleyball came, it almost hit me in the head, so I ducked, but this kid like ran up behind me and um, hit it so that we wouldn't have points counted against us. Um, and oh my god, he hit it so hard, and it just came by so fast. And I don't know what I was doing. I'm like, I was looking right at him because I turned around. Okay, I was looking at him before he hit it just to see if he was going to hit it because there's another person right next to me who looked like they were going to hit it, but they didn't. So, um, I'm sorry, I have laundry that I need to put away. Um, and so, um, so he hits it. And as I'm turning around, it hits me in the face. And I wear glasses, um, but I'm not wearing glasses right now. Um, and so... Um, it knocks off my glasses and it hits me, where are they, is there still a mark? There was a mark earlier, it was like right here, ew, it's everywhere, um, it hit me like, where was it, I was like, I don't know, it came up from behind me, um, as I was turning around, and, oh my god, just the impact kind of shocked me, so I thought it was going to pass out, right, because it just went, psh, just like right, just across my face like that, just like, psh, and it, Oh my god, it knocked off my glasses, and my glasses, actually, they didn't break, thank god, because, I don't know, the glass, it's, it's glass, but it's like poly or something, it's some special glass that they use that it's harder for it to break, um, and so they slid, like, all the way across the floor, I thought they were gonna break, I'm like, so, I was like, um, I was looking for them because I saw them slide, but they slid to my left, and I thought they slid to my right, so I was looking somewhere else, and oh my god, I thought they were gonna break, and I got so scared, but I was in like, I was in a state of panic, almost like an out of body experience, just not really, because I was freaking out, I'm like, oh my god, did I pass out, like, am I okay, and suddenly, like, I was looking for my glasses on the floor, because, I mean, I could see, obviously, but I can see pretty well, but it just is better with the glasses, so, um, like, I don't know, I just, I feel like I kind of, like, blacked out for a second, I just, I didn't pass out, like, I didn't fall on the floor or anything, I'm just, like, I'm in this state of panic, and I'm just kind of, like, oh my god, what happened, like, I just got hit in the head, and at the, at, like, the very split second after it happened, it didn't feel like anything, and then, as soon as I, like, moved my eyes, you know, I'm just, like, just, like, all across the room, you know, trying to look for my glasses, it hurt really bad, um, and I had a, oh my god, I had this terrible headache afterwards, but it, it's gone. It's perfectly fine now. But um, it hurt really bad. And, like, when I look up from trying to see where my glasses were, I had already had my glasses on by the time I found them. By the time um, I looked up. And everybody was just surrounding me. And, oh, my God, it was so scary. I'm like, they're everybody, even from the um, the opposing team, um, I don't know, who apparently is our arch rivals or something that most people in our group call it. I don't know. Ew, today was picture day, that's why I'm all fancy. I looked better earlier. Yeah. Ew. So, oh my god. Everybody was just surrounding me. They were like, are you okay? Like, are you hurt? You need to go to the nurse? Like, ice or whatever? I'm like, no, no, I'm fine. But I guess I kind of, like, was swaying a little bit. So, um, my friend, um, he called me. He's like, are you, really, are you okay? Like, I think you should sit this game out. And I did. And oh my god. It was terrible. I'm like, oh my god, I got so scared. Um, 
I'm like, oh my god, am I okay? Because it hit me like, you know where your temple is? Because your temple is like right here. And it hit me, and it hit my eye. And my glasses, before they fell off, they scratched me, which is what this is. Right here, this little like cut thing, that's where they cut me. Um, and, oh, my god. It was so scary. I'm like, oh my god. Like, am I, like, am I gonna die? I thought I was gonna die because, oh my god, it just, I just, ugh, I have the worst luck with balls, and volleyballs or anything. I don't know why I keep doing that. It's, ew, freaking disgusting. Um, oh my god. Uh, it was, I had the worst day today. And we had a science test. It was, it was pretty easy. I mean, it was pretty easy, but just the way the questions are worded, they just don't make any sense. And that's why everybody hates a science test. Just because they're just... Oh my god, they're just they're horrible. And oh my gosh, I, th I really thought I, I was having the worst day today, honestly. And then I had to go... I went to um, Home Depot after school um, with my friend because we're doing a science project. It's a huge, ginormous science project. It counts for like three quarters of our grade. For, the fi like, for our final grade this quarter, I'm like... <gasps> Oh my god, <laughs> we better get this done. Because it's due in two weeks and we haven't even started typing any of the uh, the written part yet. But we're almost, we're almost done with it. We just need to take a couple more pictures and put everything together. And then we're pretty much finished. But um, I forgot to write my name on it. So, I'm sorry, I just, I thought I would share this little piece of information with you before I should have done a disclaimer at the beginning of this, um, video. Um, so disclaimer now, um, I really, this wasn't planned, it was just, it just happened. Um, this video wasn't planned, there was no script, no, not anything. So, yeah. The last time you saw me in a video, I had my hair up, but look, I chopped it off. Well, it was short early, it was like that short, so it grew like maybe two inches, um, it is, cut it in January, sometime in January, like sometime early in January, um, and yeah, I chopped off 14 inches, and I donated it to Locks of Love, and if you don't know what that is, it's, um, an organization where, um, when you cut your hair, you have to have at least, I don't know what the cutoff is now, maybe 10 or 11 inches, um, I use, every time I cut my hair from when, some, from since I was little, every single time, I like to donate it to, um, Locks of Love, and it's, um, I tried to explain this earlier, never mind. Um, it's, uh, it's an organization where these people, like, when you cut your hair, uh, you donate it, and you, like, ship it off to them, but you don't do it yourself, like the hair cutting place does. And, um, you leave your name, and they send you a little postcard after, and, um... It has a little excerpt from, like, a little, like, thank you thing from where the little kid does. Because you donate your hair to kids who don't have hair, like cancer, leukemia, who are going through all those, like, leukemia tests, and they lose their hair. And, um, a lot of people like my hair. I don't know. I don't... It's red, but it's kind of brownish at the same time. And when I'm in the sun, it looks, like, bright red, even though I've never dyed it in my life, so I don't know. But, um, um, the little kid who gave me the little postcard. I don't know where it is. I would show it to you guys, but I don't I don't know where it is right now. Um, um, he said, thank you, your hair is such a pretty color. But um, it was a girl who got my hair this time because there was a little boy who got my hair last time, which sounds really creepy. But, um, ow. But, um, yeah, so I don't need it every time I cut my hair in there. And it's a really great cause. I love it so much. And the little kid, they're just so sweet. And I just love it so much. And so, the next time you cut your hair, you can donate. And it's completely free. You don't have to pay for it. You just go online and you print out. Go to locks. I think it's locksoflove.com or something. Um, you can print out a, uh, an information sheet. You bring that to your hair cutting place. Usually, um, Great Clips or... There's another place. like Great Cuts or something. Cut something. Great Clips. Great Clips does it, definitely. I know, because I go to Great Clips to do... This deliciousness. Um, so yeah, so next time you cut hair, you should donate it because it's great. It's a really great cause. It's awesome. So, um, so yeah, it's pretty amazing, I guess. I mean, I don't know. It's, just, it's a great cause. So I love doing that and, I don't know, helping people is fun. So 
yeah and plus it's free which I mentioned earlier it's free which is awesome so good for you okay so anyway um so volleyball I hate volleyball so much oh my god it's terrible I just terrible experiences like I'm pretty good at it but like it's just, ugh, I always get hit in the head. I'm surprised I haven't died yet. Like, one of these days, I'm pretty sure in the next week, I'm going to die because of volleyball. Oh, I need to do the sheet. Thanks for reminding me. Um, so, yeah. Um, uh, that's pretty much the end. Remember, this video was just completely spontaneous. It just happened. If you ever play volleyball, good luck, honestly, because if you're good at it, that doesn't mean you won't get hit in the face. Like, be aware of your surroundings. Like, we have a relatively small gym, so everybody's, like, cramped together. Um, like, just a whole bunch of nets, just rows and rows and rows. Um, there are, like, two or three rows of volleyball nets that everybody plays at because it's three classes, and they're pretty huge. There's, like, 50 kids in every class, and it's gigantic. But And we have a pretty small gym, so it's kind of horrible. Just be aware of your surroundings. Like, turn around occasionally just before you start playing your game. Does that make sense? Like, just look around you and then just make sure that nothing's, like, coming up behind you or anything because it will bite you in the butt if you don't. <laughs> Trust me, just be aware of your surroundings. Don't zone out that, that, oh, that's terrible. <laughs> don't, like, don't, like, space out, zone out. Like, don't daydream in the middle of volleyball because you can get really hurt. Like, you can pass out, you can become in a coma, you can, yes, from a ball impacting your head, okay? It's, ah, oh, it's terrible. Um... Someone passed out actually a couple of days ago. Um, they were like, they got hit. I don't know where it was it, like right here, like right in the middle of his forehead. I felt so bad for the guy. I'm like, oh dear God, please don't let that happen to me. Because I feel like one of these days someone's gonna die from volleyball. And I go from a really good school, I mean, like education wise, but people suck at athletics. Like, I'm pretty athletic, but like volleyball just. Ugh hate it so much um so yeah so <sighs> i need to think uh i don't know i'm gonna i don't know I'm gonna, uh, um so yeah anyway i hope you guys have a great day and be careful in baba if we learned anything from this learn from my awful mistakes remember this is the eighth grade we're supposed to be mature <laughs> that's funny just kidding we should be <laughs> we're not <laughs> Anyway, um, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I love you so much. And, uh, be careful in volleyball. Be safe for whatever gym, whatever, anything you do. Just be careful, and I love you so much. Have a great day, and be happy. And remember, this week, this week goal, I want you guys to go up to some random girl, popular girl, nerdy girl, anybody. Someone sitting alone at their lunch table. Just go up, eat lunch with them. Or tell them that they're beautiful. Tell them something that you like about them. Okay? It'll just... It's just awesome. Okay. So, I love you. And bye.